Okay, in this video today, we're going to talk about percent. Okay, the word percent, per means out of or for every, but usually you see that, you see the word per happening a lot with division, don't you? Miles per hour. If you see MPH, this stands for miles per hour, right? And that's a rate. And percent is actually kind of like a rate in a way too because the per means out of and the word cent means 100, okay? You might hear that in the word, um, what's the word for 100 in Spanish? Does anyone know? No one knows? Cien, I think, right? Which is like, it sounds kind of like cent. If you think about, if you think about this word cent, you hear it actually all the time. How many years are in a century? 100 years. How many cent, centimeters, centimeters, centi, cent, how many centimeters are in a meter? 100 centimeters. Okay, how, ma how many years old is somebody that is a centurion? Yeah, 100. How many feet does a centipede have? Oh, yeah, we don't know if it exactly has 100, but the word centipede literally means 100 feet. Pede for ped for, you know, feet, okay? So all a percent is is a comparison out of 100. And what's really nice about that, if we have a fraction out of 100, if I have 5%, that's the same thing as five out of 100. What's really nice about that is I can compare that very easily to 6% because that's six out of 100. And that means they all, all percents have a common denominator. That's why we're able to add and subtract percents so easily. That's why we use percents because it gives us a scale to be able to compare things to, right? So to make a percent into a fraction, so this is a percent to fraction, we always are going to just put it over 100. And you can actually see the 100 because that little percent symbol, the percent symbol you can make a one zero zero. You see the one and the two zeros, right? So percent compares everything out of a hundred. Now, once I make a percent into a fraction, I could also reduce the fraction, right? What would five out of 100 reduce down to? What number goes into five and 100 evenly? Five, right? Five goes into five one time, five goes into 100, 20 times. Oops, not 200, sorry, 20. So the, so the percent is, five percent is the same thing as 1 20th. How would we make this, if, if five percent is the same thing as five out of 100, how do you make that into a decimal? Yes, 0.05 because five out of 100 is five hundredths. Okay, let's reduce six out of 100. Six out of 100 would reduce, what number goes into six and 100 evenly? Does three go into 100? Can we divide, no? So two, two, they're both even, right? Divide by two, divide by two, we get three out of 50 that's going to be our reduced fraction. And you can actually see 1 20th compared to 3 out of 50, it's hard to compare those fractions. They don't have the same denominator, which is the reason why we love percents, because they do have the same denominator. 6 out of 100, what, what decimal is this equal to? 0 0.06. Good. Okay. So I've given you guys, I think in the past, I gave you also this um, sheet, and if I didn't, I'll give it to you now. It's called Landmark Values. 
And these are the most popular, uh, most commonly used fractions, decimals, percents. So you can see here one of our favorite ones, one half, 0.5, 50%, right? One quarter is the same thing as 25 cents, 0.25, or 25%. So if you take out the word per, if I say 25%, if I take out the word per, I say 25 cents. That's another way to help me know how to put it in decimal form, 25 cents, right? Three quarters is the same thing as 75 cents or 75 percent. So see, these are some of the more common ones that we use and can be really helpful to memorize. Now before we go further about that, I just want to talk a little bit about mental math. So this can be really helpful. A lot of times, I think percent is one of the most popular topics that could be used the most in your everyday life. Like if you go out to the store and you see a sale, do you like buying things on sale? Oh yeah, you don't like buy, you don't like paying 100%. So let's say you have a shirt, okay? Here's my shirt. And you want to buy the shirt. The shirt costs it's 100% not on sale. So it costs $20, let's say. Well, it's of course it's 19.99, but we're going to just round. Mental math, we round. Okay, so this, if it's not on sale at all, this is the full price. If you were going to buy it for full price, what percent would you pay of this item? If you bought it for, for full price, you would actually be paying 100% of the price, right? So $20 is... 100% of the price, right? Okay. Now, if I said you were going to get 10% off, show me, now look at here. These are both percents here. Okay. It's my percent column. What's the only difference between 100% and 10%? What's the only actual difference between those two numbers? One. Yes. And one less zero means one less decimal place. When we move the decimal from here to here over, we lose one zero. So what is 10% of 20? $2. That's exactly right. $2. Because look, if I'm going to lose a zero on 100, that becomes 10. If I lose a zero on 20, that becomes 2. Oh. So that's actually how you would find 10% of any number is by moving the decimal. Let's try a different one. Let's say 50 is 100%. So what's 10% of 50? Five, right? Yes, or move one decimal place. So uh, let's do another one. Let's say let's say we have $24. Well, there's no, that's 100%. Okay. If I lose a zero, well, there's not a zero to lose. So instead of losing a zero, we're thinking about it, we're moving the decimal over one. So 10% would be $2.40. We're just moving the decimal over one. Okay, so that could be really helpful, especially if you're going shopping or if you're um, going out to eat to dinner and you want to who what what percent tip are you supposed to leave if you go out for a meal? Okay, usually a nice tip, a mean tip is usually 10%. A nice tip is usually 20%. And you'll see a lot of times on receipts on the bottom, they will calculate the 10, the 15, and the 20%. Yes? Go ahead. It would depend on how much you spend. A tip is, a tip like if you're going to go out to a meal that's $100, how much of a tip are you going to leave? Okay, if, it, if the meal is $100, that's 100% of the meal, right? That's 100% of the cost. You're going to, you're supposed to give between 10 and 20 percent. Well, 10 percent of 100 would be 10. That would be 10 percent. What do you guys think that 20 percent would be? 20. 
because we just doubled it, right? What's 20%? Now let's go back to the shirt example. What's 20% of 20? Mm -hmm. It would be four. How did you come up with four? Times by two, because if I have two tens, I have 20. If I have, if 10% is two, 20% would be double that, would be four, okay? Now I'm going to move on to the next page here. So I used to work in retail, and in the retail, they would have 70% off sales. It was clearance. You're right. I worked in clearance, and there was clothes all over the floor, but they were really cheap, okay? So if I'm going to take 70% off, so the regular price is 100%, right? If I'm taking 70% off of that, what percent is left that I'm going to pay? 30%. So you, you get the discount. The discount is subtracted, right? And then the sale price is the percent you pay. So let's go back to the shirt example. Here's my $20 shirt. I guess I don't have to draw it every time, especially since it's not that gorgeous, okay? It's $20 regular price. So that's 100%. So let's go back to our table here, the percent versus the money. It's $20 is 100%. If I'm going to get a discount of 70%, I'm only going to pay 30%. So what did we say the 10% would be? 10% of 20 is 2. 20% 20 of 20 is 4. 30% of 20 is 6. So this would be how much I pay. I'm only going to pay the $6 if it's, if it's marked down 70% off, right? 70% off. So how much should I save? If I'm only going to have to pay my, so my 100%, that's the retail price, was $20. My 30%, oops, I'm taking off 70%, so that's my discount, and I'm going to pay 30%. So I'm paying $6 only. How much did I save? $14, which that would be the same thing as 70%. Now, how, did I, how can we calculate that? 70% of 20 is 14 can anyone see from the table how that makes sense? How do you make sense of that? This was 7 here, 70. So 10% is 2. We all understand that because we moved the decimal, right? Double that, we get 20%. But if I go 10 times 7, don't I get 70? What's 2 times 7? or two times, yeah, two times seven is 14. That's the discount that I got, right? Okay. So a lot of times, you know, do you guys ever watch that show Shark Tank? Okay. So in Shark Tank, you have a really good business idea. You go into the tank, okay? So this is Shark Tank now. In Shark Tank, they say, they say to the, t they say, Okay, I have a really great business idea. I would like for you to invest in my business, okay? I'm offering 10% of my business for 100, uh, let's say, let's say, oops, no, I actually don't want ones. Let's say for 50,000. Okay, if you give me $50,000, I will give you 10% of my company. And then the sharks always do this calculation that you see them, they're writing stuff down, but they do a lot of mental math. If I know that 10% is 50,000, what does that mean 100% of my business is worth? They say, why are you valuing your business for, can anyone tell me what the 100% value of the business would be? Yes, how did you get 500,000? 
Oh, because 10, if I want to make 10 into 100, I add a 0 or multiply by 10. And so if I want to take this amount and figure out the full value, again, u times by 10. So really, 10% is such a good you know, landmark to be able to use, okay? Let's do another one. Let's say that you're going to get a 30% discount on jeans that cost $80. Any thoughts, based on what I've just been saying, any thoughts on some things that you could do? 30% discount. How much would we pay for those jeans? And this is one way. I'm going to show you some other ways, too, in a moment. But any ideas about this one? Well, if I got a 10% discount, so let's set up a table again. So here's our money. Here's our percent. If the jeans cost $80, what percent is that? If you pay full price, what percent are you paying if you pay full price? Full price is always 100%. So this is our money. This is our percent. What's 10% of that? Yeah, 8. I notice I'm always doing these ones that end in 0, right? What's 20% of that? 16. What's 30% of that of 80? 24. Okay, if I'm going to, that's the discount. So this is the discount. How am I going to calculate the sale price? Sale price is going to be the full price minus the discount. So what would that be? Eighty minus twenty four is probably, yeah, fifty six. <laughs> fifty six. So that's just a, like a little mental math thing that I like to do with people, just because it, hopefully in your real life, in your everyday life, now you can kind of go about using estimation to calculate tips really is supposed to be around 20% tip. So what I usually do, like I go, if, if the bill, let's say the bill comes to 1945, okay, I round that, I say that's approximately $20, and then I ignore the zero, so I say, okay, 10, that's 100% of what I'm spending, so 10% would be $2, 20% tip is, a, that's usually what you're supposed to tip, is $4. So you're, you're right, Hugo, it totally depends on how much money you spend. Your tip, you know, like if I, if I go and have tacos, I, why do I want to, you know, I don't want to spend a lot of money. Taco Tuesday, <laughs> I want to be able to get them cheap, right? So let's say I had 10 tacos. I spent $10. What's 10%? That's 100% of the tacos. What's a reasonable tip? Two bucks, exactly. Because $2 would be 20%. Does everybody see why the $2 would be 20%? Okay, so that's just a little mental math trick. But let's have you guys calculate now. So I'm going to stop the video.